Hi everyone, today I have a very exciting and useful video for you. I did all of my research and I gathered all the free useful KDP tools that I use every day and I believe you will start using them after this video. I will also share any paid alternative tool that I think will be worth the money if you're in a place that you can invest on your KDP business. If you're new to this channel, my name is Anna and I do videos on how to create, maintain and grow your KDP business. If you like videos like this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications when I produce videos like this. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. First tool that I absolutely love is Canva.com. Canva is an online design platform that runs in your browser and as an app on Android and iOS. One thing that I really like about Canva is that everyone with or without graphic design experience can use it. You don't even need to learn anything. You can simply sign up and start designing your book cover. One of the best thing about Canva is the fact that it's free to use. But you also have the option to buy selected graphic and design or sign up for the subscription service which will cost you 12.95 per month or can pay annually for 119 40 cents okay let me explain main features of canva that makes it so special first of all all designs can be stored on the cloud and you'll be given 5 gigabyte storage you can access all your designs right here on the main page or through all your designs option here. You can also organize your designs by going to all your folders here and by creating new folders. Just keep in mind on the free version, you will be given two free folders. You can also mark any design that you like and assert it in like folder. Let me show you what I mean by that. For example, if I go to templates, give tag and click on this little heart, this design will be added to my like folder. So you can go back and get some ideas and get inspired by the designs you save. Canva platform is really easy and intuitive. With pre-designed templates and drag and drop format, you can create impressive and stylish designs with absolutely no experience in designing. And remember, all of the templates are editable, so you can change the colors and opacity of the objects and add different effects to your font, change the letter spacing, or even add your own design and image here. Canva has lots of high quality free designs, but best of the designs obviously is reserved for pro users. So having access to all those great designs is one of the reasons you might want to switch to the pro version. Okay, let's get into the second tool. The second tool I like to introduce and I personally use in many of my projects is Gravit Designer. Well, these days, if I want to create something simple and quick, I use Canva. But if I'm creating something complicated, like a Mandela design for my coloring book, I either use Gravit Designer or Illustrator. As you probably know, Adobe products are super expensive. For example, if you want to just get the Illustrator, the annual fee is $239.88. Or if you want to go with the full set, it will end up costing you $599.88 per year. And this is pre-tax amount. If you're a professional designer, you probably already have the Adobe suit. But if you're going to use it just for your KDP business, you don't have to spend this much. You can invest the money on your business to maybe hire a professional graphic designer on Fiverr or buy designs from a stock websites like Creative Fabrica. And that will bring us to the third tool. You probably saw me downloading designs from this website almost on all of my videos. Now I have the pro version, but even before switching to pro version, I was using the freebies on the side, which is updated every day. 
I sometimes go to Victizi or Pixabay for free materials too. But let me review the licensing on Creative Fabrica to better understand why I usually prefer to stick with the Creative Fabrica. Before getting to the details, I want to warn you this is just a review and you need to read the license agreement to make sure you're keeping within the license agreements and that goes for any image you're downloading from any online website. Never trust any video or third-party website and always and always check the licensing agreement on the website you're downloading from. Okay, let me show you how to get to the licensing agreements. So go to one of these free designs. On top right hand, click on Commercial License Basic POD, which stands for Print on Demand. And then go to Subscription License. And let me scroll down to Print on Demand section. So based on the description here, as long as you create a vastly different design from original one, you can generate unlimited sales on print-on-demand website. But keep in mind, you can't simply upload the original design without adding any distinctive new design. Okay, now let's look at the license agreement on Victizi. So click on one of these free designs and then click on here. And as you can see, based on the agreement, you have to attribute Victizi on your designs and you also have usage limitation. For example, if you're going to use a free file for your book cover, you're limited to 50 prints or in other words, you can only sell 50 books with that cover. Since we don't have any control over how many books you're going to sell on KDP, I say just a save from freebies on Victizi. I also mentioned Pixabay earlier, so let's talk about that too. So Pixabay is a stock platform which is 100% free. All of the images and vectors on this site is free and you can use them for your commercial projects without any usage limitation. But keep in mind, just like Creative Fabrica, you need to alter the image. If you want to check out the licensing agreement, you can find it down below on the bottom of the page where it says learn more and then you need to click on license here. I still have two websites that I'd like to introduce and the reason why I put them together is because they are very similar to each other in many ways. Bookbolt and Power KDP are two websites that you can get free interior for your low content book. So let me start with Bookbolt that has more than 130 free interior designs. Go to bookbolt.io and then on menu go to resources and click on second option which is interior wizard. Click on interior wizard again and you will be presented with different interior designs which you can download for free. Next choose your design and on top select if your book design going to have bleed or not and choose your book size and enter the number of pages. Hit download and this will open up a new tab with your interior design. You can check your design and if you're happy with it, click on download right here and save your file. So obviously all of your competitors also have access to this service. So to stand out and make different design than others, you can maybe add some small pictures and mix and match different designs and make a new combination. And the last website of this video, powerkdp.com. They also have a good collection of interior, although not as diverse as Book Vault, but I see lots of high quality designs. On the day I recorded this video, there is exactly 45 designs here. So to get to the interiors, simply click on your preferred design. On bottom right hand, select the size and enter the page count and hit download. This will open up a new tab and you can click on download right here and save your file. As you can see on Power KDP, we don't have an option to choose for a bleed option. So all of your designs will be no bleed. 
and that was our last tool in design category. Since I had a lots of tools that I wanted to introduce and I didn't want to rush anything, I decided to make a series of videos. This was only the first video of three videos about all of the free tools for your KDP business, where I'm going to introduce and review all the necessary tools that you will need for your KDP business. I intentionally only picked up free tools so that everyone, especially those of you that are just started your business and don't want to spend much upfront, can use them. Our next video will be about free tools that you will need for your research. Things that will help you find out which niche is profitable so that you can choose your next book wisely or help you select your keywords and category and these sort of things. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope this was an informative and useful video for you. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you all on the next video and bye-bye.